uh, early this morning, uh, two students uh, were in an altercation that resulted in one student allegedly shooting the other in the leg outside of Stevenson North Residence Hall. So two students in and out altercation outside of Stevenson North, one was shot in the leg. This appears to be an isolated incident between two individuals. The student who was shot was a resident of Stevenson North. So the, 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 the student who was shot was a resident of Stevenson North. Uh, and the shooter was an off-campus resident student. Uh, the victim's uh, injuries are not life-threatening, and he was transported to Kishwaukee Community Hospital for treatment. The shooter fled on foot and was apprehended by the NIU police within a few minutes. Uh, the campus was on a brief lockdown very early in the morning and the all clear was issued and is issued and normal operations continue. Um, NIU implemented its campus alert text messaging system to notify the campus of the incident and then a number of redundant communication systems were used, which is our, our practice, and we've learned that's the best way to approach these things. I activated the university's crisis management team uh, just after 4 a.m. this morning. So we've all had an early morning. Uh, and again, normal operations have resumed, and classes are meeting as scheduled, and all scheduled events are moving forward as planned today, and moving forward through the weekend. Um, we have set up numerous information hotlines and counseling services for students, faculty, and staff. And those are posted uh, on the web uh, and, other, and through other ways. They are manned and in operation. And as always, the NIU website is being continuously updated as information becomes available and as always, that is the best place to get accurate, up-to-date, unambiguous information. So that's my opening statement. Let me now go through with you the timeline of, of events. 